to be our Players Cup 2 champion. This is the grand finals between Wolf Glick and David Career, and we're kicking things off the way that we have been for the rest of this grand finals. It will be David leading with that Venusaur and that Torkoal, and for Wolf, you have the Incineroar and that Galarian Moltres once again, bringing us back to our very first game of that first set. It's it's worked so well for Wolf in a number of games that I think he's going to try and stick to it. Uh, once again, the Venusaur is a little bit in danger right now. Looking at that Incineroar in the sun that David keeps setting up with the Torkoal. And he's obviously very, very confident in this lead. And even though he's not going after it this turn, uh, just the fake out, just the S-Lash, yeah. Uh, this Venusaur is not wanted on the field. And once again, David's no. lost his Venusaur on turn one. That's a huge focal point of this team just removed from play. Well, the other thing that Wolf did is just like not going for the Dynamax right away, expecting that Torkoal has been clicking yawn for David. Every game, every turn has really been trying to slow the pace of this game down. But Galarian, uh, we have the Reggie Gigas now coming into the field for the Venusaur that got knocked out. But Weezing's not by its side right now. It's so weird that the way that David's been using these kind of duos leads Torkoal Venusaur, one gets knocked out or just taken out of play early, and then he's left with this kind of lopsided one half of the Regigigas Weezing combination. So uh, it's certainly a, a tough one, I think, for, for David to negotiate, and maybe, uh, you know, going into future games has to try and, and wiggle around that a little bit. So. Uh, Wolf making a full board adaptation, uh, knowing exactly what's there, just trying to keep things rotating, making sure those yawns don't take effect, and maybe immediately trying to respond to the Weezing Regigigas combination. Maybe hoping that this Dragapult and Colossal can hang on just a little bit better, as it will be Weezing switching in for the Torkoal on David's side of the field to be able to set up that neutralizing gas and get this Regigigas going. David is going to Dynamax here. Definitely make taking a look at being able to make the most of his Dynamax turns. But we've got to see more damage come through from this Regigigas and actually secure some knockouts here. Max yeah, Quake the, first. The, the Regigigas uh, didn't quite do enough in the last turn. And this switch from Wolf, uh, really nice defensively, making sure that he gets uh, in Pokemon that can take the hits, not get immediately knocked out. And the right positioning, left and right for Colossal and Dragapult there. Of course, you can't put Colossal in that slot, uh, but Regigigas, one turn of its Dynamax down, uh, just not able to, to do as much as, as it may like. Uh, this Regigigas is, uh, you know, the obvious play. It's the obvious way that David's going to get out of this. The Torkoal isn't going to be the big focal point of this team. And Wolf making sure he's got the tools on the board to, to just try and deal with it as soon as possible. Yeah, keeping Colossal on the field and just going after that that wheezing here is going to be really important to just stop this Regigigas from being able to do what David wants it to do. So I think that both of these players right now are still posturing for position on the board, trying to figure out exactly how to get to the win condition that they want. And Wolf again, just kind of continuing to wait for that Dynamax and David in this position where he feels forced into Dynamaxing so early. Especially after losing a Pokemon on, on turn one, you have to fire off your Dynamax and get Regigigas in the position that it can control the game. Uh, that said, I mean, this Colossal getting, getting set up, there's a chance that this Colossal can just take over the game in direct response uh, to whatever this Regigigas is trying to do. And, and this could be hugely problematic for David. Uh, Dragapult, though, yeah, just going to start limiting that Regigigas even more. So when the Weezing's gone, it's it's pretty much doomed at that point. Right, you got the burn that landed, and which is going to mitigate the amount of damage that comes onto this Colossal on Wolf's side of the field that just Gigantamaxed. Max Quake continuing to increase those special defenses for both of these Pokemon, but there's the weakness policy boost. That is the item that this Colossal is holding, and that was exactly what Wolf was hoping for to mitigate the amount of damage so that this Colossal could hang on. Sludge Bomb now coming in from the Weezing is not enough to knock out this Dragapult, but it does get poisoned. Uh, the poison's going to help out, give it a little bit of a, a turn timer. Uh, and this Colossal, though, heading off with the G-Max Volcalith. Weezing, uh, not the bulkiest of Pokemon, uh, taking a whole heaping of damage there. And, of course, the rocks surrounding both of them. But that Regigigas not getting the knockout. I mean, fair play to Weezing for taking that G-Max Volcalith. Uh, obviously getting the benefit of Max Quakes there to, to help it out a little bit. And this Dragapult's on a one-turn timer. It's going to get knocked out. Uh, Regigigas 
obviously a little bit lower on the potential damage output and uh, uh, yeah this everything going into just trying to stop this Regigigas. I think if the Colossal gets knocked out there, um, because the, maybe the will o -Wisp misses or he, he makes another play, uh, that turn is, is wildly different. Right, and, and this turn too is going to be super impactful for the rest of this game and how this game is going to go. Wolf is hoping that maybe Dragapult is able to get the knockout onto the Weezing with the breaking swipe uh, before Regigigas is able to knock out that Dragapult or, or try to knock out the Colossal and, and catch it with the Max Guard. Uh, getting rid of the Weezing early is, is key here because then that completely hampers the usefulness of the Regigigas and Weezing. Yeah, being very, very smart there, uh, accepts that it is going to be a bit of a focal point. Both Pokemon actually on David's side uh, just taking their time and I think fishing for a little bit more information about uh, what that Dragapult was, was trying to do there. Yeah. I mean, the Breaking Swipe 2 does fell the attack of this Regigigas and also it limits the amount of damage once again that this Regigigas is going to be able to do. That Max Guard, really great there. Uh, Weezing going for the Protect means that, yeah, it's it's going to get knocked out to that G-Max Volcalith damage, but here is where the problem starts for David once again is that that slow start is now active for that Regigigas. Yeah, kind of a, a bit shocking in that turn, really, that... He decides to protect the Weezing to make sure it doesn't get knocked out by the Breaking Swipe, knowing it's going to go down at the end of the turn anyway. Um, but then he just leaves his Regigigas. You think, like, maybe the Regigigas could at least try um, and, and weave in some damage at some point because that was, you know, the last kind of... It, it's really limited on its turn timer right now. Mm -hmm. uh, on what it can do, it's, it's already reduced and you've got to make the most of the turns where, where Weezing is there. So, Torkoal uh, coming in, that was the last turn of the Dynamax as well. And, and I think not attacking with it. I mean, what does the Max Guard really keep you safe from? Um, you, you've got to go for it in that turn, and this Regigigas is certainly going to struggle for the rest of this game. Yeah, this Regigigas burned, has a couple of attack drops, and I just feel like it's going to struggle here as Torkoal goes for the Protect to try to keep it safe from this last turn of Gigantamax that Wolf does have, but Incineroar goes for Fake Out. Regigigas is not going to be able to move for this turn. G-Max Vocal it still will be able to go through the Protect of that Torkoal, though, and, and deal some damage. This Regigigas just isn't doing uh, what it needs to do. And yeah, the Torkoal, even, yeah, it gets its berry, uh, but this game looking super uh, favorable for Wolf. You know, he's just in uh, a great position to, to kind of seal this one up. 3v2, uh, certainly struggling, and every single turn he's getting those Volcalith rocks, just doing those residual bits of damage. Uh, the damage he needs to, to get the next couple of knockouts uh, getting ever lower between turns, and that really is the power of, of G-Max Volcalith, I think, just being able to say, you know what, uh, I'm going to make the knockouts super easy to get, and Torkoal uh, setting up. Uh, I, I just, I don't see where Torkoal can deal enough damage, um, particularly against something like the Galarian Moltres, which we know is, is mm -hmm. waiting and lurking in the back. Yeah, the Galarian Moltres has been preserved this entire game. We saw it very briefly at the beginning of the game. Went back into a Pokeball pretty quickly there uh, after the yawn from the Torkoal. But this is in a position now where Wolf can try to tidy up this game. You saw the Flare Blitz targeting down that Regigigas on the other side of the field. And uh, Torkoal's going to have to try here, but Colossal protects first. Yeah, Colossal just doesn't want to get caught by anything uh, that would be super effective. Regigigas landing a Thunder Punch. Uh, and as you can see, just the situation that Regigigas has been put in without, uh, with the burn, without the wheezing, it's just not, uh, not ideal. And, and Incineroar says, thanks for the Thunder Punch. I'm just going to respond with the Flare Blitz of my own. I think the Recoil probably did about as much damage. And there's why the Colossal. Just played safe, doesn't want to get body pressed by this Torkoal, but yeah, now a, a 3v1 situation for Wolf, uh, putting himself firmly in the driver's seat, I'd say, for, for this one. And what a way uh, to kind of come back in after you've reset the bracket and just yeah. establish a, a really good position for yourself again. Absolutely. I mean, this is a position that... If he's not going to be able to come back from in this game, but that's why we play a best of three. We have the ability to see David make some adjustments and some adaptations and potentially bring us into a three game set for our very final set of our grand finals for the Players' Cup 2. It's, it's a big ask 
Uh, we'll see, yeah, the Torkoal just, just turning this one in. Not even trying to, to pull that one out. So, uh, really well played set by Wolf or game in, in that one. Uh, that's now three wins against David on the bounce. The first two for the reset. And now David has to win two back to back. He has to stop the slide, has to figure out an option in his team that he can answer back with. And, and that now is the time to, to try and find it or else it's going to be uh, 2 and 0 and 2 and 0. And, and Wolf just showing, yeah, you can beat me once, but the second time, the third, no, we're not, we're not having that. Uh, really excited to see what changes we get going into to game number two here in this set. Can't lose that Venusaur so early. David has had that happen twice now in these last couple of games that we've seen between Wolf and David. And that Venusaur just really not being able to get going, I feel like has been a problem for David to have to figure out an adaptation for. This, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but the way that it's kind of two powerful pairings, uh, really, really good on paper and having those two options really works. But something that I think Wolf is making him struggle with is only having one part of it available at, at one time and, and you know Regigigas without the wheezing we've seen it's it's very underwhelming and the will-o-wisp was really salt in the wounds for the the Regigigas um, struggling a little bit there so it's tough uh, to to maybe adapt to that but David's got to find something uh, otherwise Wolf is, is going to absolutely run away from this set and Wolf's lead applies so much pressure to this Venusaur and uh, he's done it twice now uh, you know with Incineroar and of course Galarian Moltres, the Venusaur is forced into a weird position and it keeps getting knocked out early. That's something David has to avoid in this next game. Well, this next game could be our final game as we are on match point. If Wolf takes this next game, he'll take the set and he'll take the title of the Players' Cup 2 champion. But can David come back? Let's jump into the action and find out. Let's go. It's got to be some adaptations, and I'll be curious to see the leads. There is an immediate change. Uh, there Reggie it is. Gigas and Weezing paired up, just going to start out uh, as like a little bit stronger, something that's come through uh, a little bit later in the game. Uh, and then, of course, Incineroar, Galarian Moltres from Wolf. Very successful lead for him there. Right, uh, this has been a really strong lead for Wolf, just putting so much pressure onto that Venusaur lead that you talked about before, but David making the switch to the Reggie Gigas and the Weezing, I feel like is a much more offensive lead that David can really take advantage of. Torkoal, just trying to slow the game down, hasn't been able to keep up with the pace that Wolf has been setting so far. The Torkoal's not been great, to be honest with you, uh, regarding you know the way that uh, it's been putting in a shift. A couple of times it's fallen foul of the light screen as well. Um, but I mean, this lead from Wolf, even though it's against something different, still potentially very, very strong. Uh, we've seen the raw damage output that this Galarian Moltres can put down on, on your opponent's side of the field and, and cause problems that way. So still uh, a little bit of work for David to do just because he's changed up his lead. I don't think he's out of the woods yet. No, Regigigas though, gonna go ahead and Dynamax for our very first turn of this second game in our second set of the Grand Finals. And Regigigas are just going ahead and just going for Max Lightning here, right into the Moltres. That's a one-hit knockout to kick things off. Uh, that's, that's the start that David needed there. Uh, immediately getting rid of this Galarian Moltres. Uh, of course, it's an option that is known uh, on the Regigigas and the, the partnership with Weezing really working out in its favor there. Uh, Weezing also taunting uh, the Incineroar, so making sure that lands. I'm not sure what Incineroar is exactly going for. No parting shot. shot. Uh, so his quick and easy board rotation taken away there. David has got off to a much better start in this game. And this is putting Wolf into a similar position that we've seen from David, having two very strong partnerships, but not being able to get both of them side by side. We saw this Incineroar Dragapult lead before to be able to set up for the end game, but there's no Urshifu. You can't bring five Pokemon to this set. So Colossal is going to have a little bit of a struggle trying to get going if this Dragapult gets knocked out from something that this Regigigas is threatening, that Ice Punch. And there's certainly options, but Dragapult here, once again, landing the Will-O-Wisp on Regigigas. Uh, that is really, really helpful, I think, for Wolf and, and the potential to, to come back in this game. Uh, the Hailstorm will land onto the Dragapult, but because of the burn, it's not enough for a knockout. And that is going to be really, really key. Of course, there's going to be some residual damage from the Hail between turns now. Uh, but not enough for a knockout. Really, really essential here, I think. Yeah, I had to... Ooh, Ooh, the Sludge Bomb's not even enough to knock out the Dragapult here. 
No, the Sludge Bomb not getting there, and the Incineroar as well, uh, not doing anywhere near as much damage as it's done in the past to this Weezing, uh, because in the past couple of games, we've seen it with the Sun benefit from Torkoal, and it's a really, really tough position. Um, of course, the Regigig is definitely uh, taken down a little bit. And curious, the Dragapult, the item being being very, very key there. Um, you know, not taken out between turns. So really, really helpful. Um, making sure that it, it doesn't get felled. And, and this pairing is still on the field, causing problems. Yeah, safety goggles coming in clutch for Wolf's Dragapult, just not being able to get knocked out here from the residual damage coming through from the hail. That means Dragapult's around to be able to help out this Incineroar and try to get off as much damage as possible. Uh, Incineroar is, is forced into this position because of the taunt to have to go for damaging moves, and this Weezing is definitely a big threat right now. Oh, most certainly, and the Dragapult is doing everything it can do to cut this Regigigas attack down. The burn, the breaking swipes, making sure that it's just not going to be able to output the, the damage that it really wants to, and, and that may be very essential when it comes to this Incineroar. Yeah, barely, barely close to, to getting knocked out there. Able to take that very well. Of course, the special defenses boosts usually help in these situations, but not against this pairing. No, not against this pairing at all. And Incineroar, in fact, just getting dropped into its berry range will be able to regain some of its health from that citrus berry. But, oh, taunt this time around from the Weezing. Going onto the Dragapult here, not going for any damage. Could have tried to secure a knockout here, maybe. But Incineroar gets to fire back now. And into the Weezing it goes, getting that knockout. And now that slow start is back in action. Yeah, that's going to be very problematic. I mean, Regigigas uh, not being able to get it going, having its speed and its attack just cut even further. And just to rub it in, just to really rub it in, an Intimidate now activated because Neutralizing Gas has left the field. So this Regigigas just isn't going to be able to do the amount of damage it, it needs to do over the next uh, few turns. Incineroar's Taunt goes away as well, so it could make it even worse with a potential parting shot. And even though uh, there was an early Pokemon loss there for Wolf in, in turn number one of the game, I think he's very much in a solid position now to, to try and at least fire back. This uh, Venusaur coming onto the field, uh, got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Oh, I, it, it's going to be so so tough for David just to be able to try to get through uh, this, this pairing right now because of the fact that Incineroar can continue to go for big damage, has that super effective Flare Blitz against that Venusaur, and uh, Wolf can continue to use these Breaking Swipes to mitigate the amount of damage this Regigigas can do and just make it super, super difficult for if this Regigigas is the last thing on the field for David to actually use it to get to the end of this game. The longer it sits on the field, the more useless the Regigigas becomes, and it's really, really struggling uh, with three attack drops now, uh, and of course the burn on top of that. So its damage is just not going to be there. Uh, let's see what it does. It is enough to get the, the final bit of damage down onto this uh, Dragapult, showing its high horsepower there. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's taking a huge amount of residual damage every turn too, and uh, not in the sun. We'll see how much the Venusaur does. That's it. That's uh, enough. But Venusaur takes, yeah, it's enough for the knockout. Um, it, this Incineroar's been putting in an absolute shift. Incineroar does get knocked out, um, but, you know, it, it's going to be an interesting endgame with a nigh-on useless Regigigas uh, versus uh, whatever Wolf has remaining. Should be that Colossal waiting in the back here. It's healthy. It's got the weakness policy. And... Wolf still has Dynamax. This is a great and clear way to clean up this game as it's going to be that Torkoal in the back for David, bringing the same four Pokemon to most of these games. But Adam, we're coming down to it. I, I don't know if, if David has the damage to, to defeat this Colossal. I mean, his Regigigas is, to put it politely, useless at this juncture. Uh, it is not going to be able to deal, slow start or not, just the amount of damage uh, drops to its attack that it's had it is not going to be able to deal much damage. Uh, of course, Torkoal itself isn't the biggest threat when it comes to you know, maybe landing damage. Uh, I'm sure Torkoal may want to try and weave in something like a, a Yawn, um, but Regigigas, yeah, not even going to get to attack into the Protect. Um, and now, I mean, Wolf knows in this next turn that the Torkoal can't Protect. He's really nicely baited mm -hmm. out David's Torkoal Protect. And th another game where this Torkoal just isn't going to be enough, really. 
Well, it's time to Dynamax here, or Gigantamax in this case, because it is a Colossal. And with that GMAX Volcalif heading into the Torkoal, this very well could seal up this game as Regigigas is going to be taking burn damage as well as the residual damage from this GMAX Volcalif. We might have a new champion, Adam. I, I mean, I don't see any way that David can beat this Colossal and this saving it for last. Uh, a couple turns, you know, uh, the, the big thing, that Dragapult staying on the field for an extra turn when it really, really needed to. Um, getting the knockout on the Weezing early, getting all of these drops onto the Regigigas. Yes, David adapted very well. I think bringing Regigigas Weezing was a huge change up and really, really important against what he'd seen from Wolf. But Wolf kept his ace in the hole in the back and said, you know what, uh, once I get rid of a couple things off your team and, and neutralize the threat of this Regigigas, there's nothing that this Colossal oh. can do. Torko tries to protect as well. Regigigas is high horsepower. Look at how little it does. Oh, and the after effects of that high horsepower. Procking the weakness policy on this Colossal. Regigigas gonna lose more HP than I feel like it dished out here. Colossal goes for the G-Max Vocalith. Torkoal not able to protect, is going to get one hit knocked out here, causing that residual damage from that G-Max Vocalith, which should be enough to knock out this Regigigas, but I gotta wait to see whether or not it happens. Here it comes. Is that enough? Yep. That's yep. it! Wolf Glick is your new Players' Cup 2 champion! Phenomenal comeback from Wolf across the whole run and the way that this tournament was set up. He got put into losers in round two by 